of a kind. One of a kind. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm looking at really adding some factories and the oil industry because that's one of the industries that I haven't got and to add some of the factories you need to have some of the refined items that the oil industry and mining or whatever you'd call it does. So this video is really about just expanding up an area, adding in oil, adding in an area where I can put some factories and warehouses so I can build stuff to add to the commercial zones. I'd like to take this opportunity just to ask you if you have been watching some of my videos now, please do subscribe. I would really like to be able to get my channel to, again, the fifth subscriber. Come on, somebody out there must want to hit that magic number five for me. So I'm starting off building a factory and warehousing zone. So in one of my previous videos, which was the uh, Rowinski series, I decided to change the road layout a little bit. I was putting in a three lane road and then I was effectively tearing off um, a single lane one way street going to an area on the left or right, which was either a warehouse or a factory. The reason behind that was it basically stopped all that queuing traffic whilst they're trying to turn into the warehouse. So I decided to try that again on this particular area and as you can see I'm trying to build up the areas for warehousing and the factory. So goods can come in, get deposited in the warehouse and then the warehouse can keep a local kind of stock and cash of that particular product and then when the factory runs low it will sort of take the product from the warehouse and move it to the factory. The factory can then use that and produce the finished goods. The issue that I have, although, and as you play the game, you can put these warehouses nearby, they have a lot of stock in, but for some strange reason, the factory still is always complaining that it doesn't have enough of the raw products, which is really annoying. Anyway, this is me trying to use this three lane layout. Now, previously what I did was I had three lanes going straight through and then I tear off a lane to the left and to the right, leaving the three lanes in one way direction going straight through so you'd effectively have uh, five lanes. I thought I'd try to change this to make it more like the way that some of the junctions work by having a three lane road which then tears off into you know, left straight on and right. Now as you will see later on that doesn't really work quite as well as I hoped because even though traffic comes around that roundabout and they should change they should choose the relevant lane that they require they for some reason just stay in the left hand side so they always go past that one warehouse so and that can cause a tailback which is rather annoying a bit further on in the video I am going to add some of the industrial roads which are wider they have a two way so they go up and down and they have a much wider kind of pavement the idea behind that is that the trucks can pull off to one side and leave the roadway free. So I'm adding a little bit of zoning there to kind of just populate the area with industry and I use the TMPE lane management also to try to make sure that the vehicles go along the correct route 
and don't delay anybody else. So I had the three previous industries, farming, forestry and ore, the issue being that for some of the factories you do need the plastics and petroleum. So without having a oil industry I couldn't use some of the factories that are available to me. So here I am, I'm going to build a an oil industry area to produce the goods that are required. <laughs> playing the game for a little bit I realized that my one-way streets really weren't cutting the mustard and also they didn't look very pretty I couldn't get them to look how I wanted to do so I've now put the industry roads in they are much wider they do have a medium in them but as you can see the trucks can go along and they should be able to pull into either the factory or warehouse or other industry buildings without causing too much of a tailback you do still need a bit of spacing for that otherwise you will get a tailback because annoyingly the you know, trucks and vehicles will not go on the far side of the road they just seem to get themselves in a bit of a pickle if there's too many trucks and especially when you have the oil industry if you do use the oil industry you will suddenly find that when you get to the uh, large oil rigs the amount of trucks that come in to export the oil becomes massive So off camera I've used, or maybe on camera but sped up, I have added some of the office zoning in and I've added some pathways in as well to ensure that people can move from you know, particularly the parking area that I have to other buildings and I've also used the new pedestrian roads that are available. I find them uh, quite nice because they, when they join the roads you can, or it does create a crossing area. So. That's quite useful, although I do have the mod that allows me to add crossing areas onto roads. This works quite well. And as you see, I've got a little car park there and I've added in some pathways so that people who are parking can walk quite quickly from the car park to another area within that industrial area. 
So this is the overall city so far. I'm just going to pan or do a little flyover of all the major areas. So the major industrial areas that I have got. So like the ore zone, the forestry, the farming, the oil. Now you will spot because I've only recently recorded this as like today and I've done some additional work. You will spot that I've now put some factories, if you look really carefully, some factories in amongst kind of commercial and near residential zones. So they're not far off, they're not moving away from each other, yet they are still quite close to highway access and roundabouts. So this is one of the big farming areas and what is quite annoying with the farming area is I've got quite a lot of stuff down there and they still report up saying not enough bars for goods and I have added uh, additional kind of uh, processing factories so stuff like animal products making flour to try to use up all of the products that are available or the raw materials that are available to me. So there's a real quick look at the industrial area that I've got. Although I've built it, I'm not particularly happy because I think actually these factories should be amongst the actual residential areas. So just in front of you, you can see the big residential zone that I've been working on recently. That has got a academic a university area and it also has a small factory. And this is the fully leveled up oil region industrial area and the amount of traffic flowing through this although this is night and I've got the real time mod on is huge I've had to put some underground roads to kind of help alleviate the traffic bottlenecks that I do get So I hope you've enjoyed the video about my oil and factory and warehouses and if you have hit that subscribe. If you want to follow more videos that I do hit the notification bell. Please do like the videos and leave me a comment. Please there must be subscriber 5 out there somewhere. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Keep yourself well. See you soon.